over to the exchange side. I just got out of the commissary. I am going to take a whack at making some quesadilla tonight. So I was getting the stuff for that. Hurry up, lady, because someone's coming and they're gonna see me filming and I'm embarrassed. Anyways, um, yeah, I got the stuff to make some video. Hopefully it comes out good. I don't know if I wanna make it in the instant pot or if I wanna make it um, in like just regular on top of the stove. I don't know because it's supposed to take like around three hours so the meat and stuff can get really, really um, like tender. But I mean, I have some time but I also don't want to keep checking it every, like, five minutes. You know what I mean? Because I just want to... It's so easy to put it in the freaking little Instapot and then leave it alone. So I don't know what I'm going to do. The main reason why I came on right now to give you all a little update was to show you all what I got. The other day, I bought one of these, but I bought it in a 2 liter because I didn't know they carried it in um, the 16 ounce bottles and i saw it when i was leaving at the commissary it's the um sprite but it's the winter spice cranberry flavor i liked the two liter one i drank it but i was like wow it would taste so much better if it was just like in a 16 ounce so you can just drink it and that's it because you know how two liters get flat if you don't drink them all at one time i in my opinion they're from, for more like parties and stuff unless you drink a two liter of soda like go off but this tastes a little like a smirnoff I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I try not to drink so much. I try not to drink anymore. So this like kind of quenches the thirst. The the it quenches my thirst. Mm. It tastes honestly exactly like a Smirnoff. So if you don't like Smirnoff or you're traumatized by Smirnoff, definitely don't try this spray. <laughs> Cause that'll bring up some bad memories honey i'm gonna get off right here at the exchange i mainly need a new little keychain for my hand sanitizer uh but i want a christmas one so i'm gonna see if they have one i'll let you know okay i just got out of the commissary no of the exchange and i found a new hand sanitizer holder i only paid five bucks for this but look at it it's a little polar bear and it has a little rhinestone um scarf oh my god the one i had for fall was very rhinestone-y as well for fall and Halloween. It was this spooky ghost one, and I absolutely loved it. The little jewels held up perfectly. I don't think I lost. I lost probably, well, I lost a handful at the bottom, but you couldn't really tell. I had it literally for months. I had it before, um, when did I get it? Maybe like in August, like the end of August I had it, and then I had it up until literally a few days ago. I put on the gingerbread one that I had um, last year, two years ago so I found a new one and this is the one that I'm going to be using from now on I'm so excited because I put it on my little belt with my well like my keys and stuff but I got um Duncan was open today when I went in and I got the cookie butter cold brew I believe is what is called the cold brew looks a little light like tea but let's go ahead and give it a try the top part is really good the cookie butter part mm. super good the top part the brew you can taste it's a little weak but it's good mm. the cookie is like a biscoff the little biscoff cookies oh just kiss. if the cold brew was a little more concentrated i would love it but it, i still like it it's just it needs a little more concentration They were hiring at the Duncan in here, and I kind of want to call. I want to call and see what the pay rate is because they're hiring for like a manager and for um, a crew member. So I'm probably gonna call and see what that pay rate is. See if I can find a number. I'll be back. Hey besties, I am back home. Don't make fun of my outfit, okay? I just have leggings and a like a thermal shirt on i need to change because it looks really funny i wore a jacket over so you couldn't really see how funny the shirt looked but i am currently uh, making some media i'm gonna make it in the instant pot after all so that way it doesn't make a mess everywhere i'm just um going to i'm taking the skin off of this onion and then i'm gonna throw the onion uh, in the instant pot i already put two roma tomatoes and I am going to open up the meat and also put that in the Instapot. I'm gonna let that go for a while. 
Meanwhile, I'm gonna do my chile and stuff like that out here because um, I have to boil it before I can put it in with the meat. So I will show you all the chiles I have. I didn't buy anything else. I kind of am mainly using what I have here at the house. So um, I think I only have the New Mexico chiles and a different kind, but I will show you right now. Let me, I'm gonna put the meat in there. I always get um, just the boneless short ribs. I feel like they're the easiest. They're already cut and they don't have no bones in them. They're basically just big chunks of meat. So I use these instead of using like a chuck roast or anything like that. Um, I mean, this is the first time I'm making video, but anytime I make like pho or stuff like that, I usually use these because they have a lot of meat and they're fairly cheap. So they do everything you need to do. So let's throw these in the Instapot. And I just wanted to show y'all what they were before I did that. Ooh. I recorded that last clip in slow-mo, but I was just gonna show y'all once again. I put the Instapot, it's a little banged up. She's a little banged up. I just put it on the soup stew um, setting and I'm gonna do it probably a couple times um, just so the meat can get really soft. And while that is going, we're gonna boil the water and stuff for our chiles. I'm gonna go change into a t-shirt really quick cause this one's really restricting. We back. I'm gonna show y'all the chiles and stuff that I have because this is what I'm gonna use to make my video today. I'm gonna use the rest of these chile guajillos. I'm gonna use the rest of these New Mexico chiles. I'm gonna use a little bit of cinnamon stick because that's what it called for, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use some cloves. Oh no, I'm like star anise. Star anise. No, I don't think I need these. I don't know the, no, I don't need those. Clove. I don't know why I got those down. That was an accident, but I'm gonna use some clove and then this is just some leftover cinnamon. All of this I had was for when I made um, like the clove cinnamon and stuff. That was when I made pho and then the chiles I made pozole. So that's what I have left over. I couldn't find any chile de arbol, uh, not at the commissary and I really didn't wanna go off base. So I saw some girl use some chipotle peppers for like some spice. So I'm probably gonna use a couple of those. I got a can of them. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna um, de-seed and take off the stem of these and I'm gonna put them in some water to de rehydrate them a little bit. Yeah, our chile is done boiling. I'm gonna open some cloves of garlic. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I really need to get a tripod, but I'm telling you what I'm doing so that way you know. And like I said before, I am in no way a bidia maker. This is my first time making bidia in my whole entire life. I was just really craving it. I did just, that was rude of my phone to fall like that. But I just finished filming my podcast. For those of y'all, again, that don't know, or if you're new here, go follow me wherever you listen to podcasts. I have a podcast, it's called Crime Wife, and it is available almost anywhere that you can listen to podcasts. So go check that out. I am currently doing Podmas, which I don't know if this is a thing or if I kind of just made it up. I think I've seen a couple people of do, uh, do it before. But I did not know until I actually searched because I was like, whoa, I really want to do Vlogmas, but I also want to do like the equivalent on my podcast. So I decided to call it Podmas. I looked it up on Spotify and I saw two people that had done uh, Podmas. So basically, I'm uploading a short and sweet podcast every single day, December 1st through the 25th. And that's my Instapod. I would definitely love if y'all would check it out. Today is day six of Podmas. I started Pod, uh, Podmas a day earlier than people start Vlogmas, so that's why I'm a day ahead there. Okay, I have the garlic here. And then over here, I have the chiles that I rehydrated. It's just in water. And I also threw a little cinnamon stick in there, a couple of cloves because um, I'm gonna put this water into the um, broth and stuff anyway, so yeah. I don't think you have to put the cloves and the cinnamon. Um, I literally just put a tiny bit of cinnamon 
in there. I don't think you have to put it in the chile water. I just did it so that way it blends up very nicely when I put it in the blender. So I'm going to transfer all these chiles into the blender along with the garlic and the spices. And then we're going to strain it into the meat. Okay, besties, I don't have a tripod, but I have everything in here. Let's go ahead and stop it. I put all the chiles in here. I put some a little bit of ground ginger. I threw the cloves in there. I also took the onion and the tomato out that I had with the meat. I put it in there as well. I put some cumin, some salt, peppercorn. I put a chipotle pepper, just one, so it can spice it up a little bit. I put, what else did I put in there? Some chicken bouillon. I put um, 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 some thyme. And then of course I put some bay leaves in there. I just blend it all up. I'm gonna strain it into the Instant Pot. And I don't have a tripod, unfortunately, but I'm gonna try and get it at this angle. We'll see how it goes. I also added the majority of the chili water, so it's a little bit more oily, but that's okay. It's very flavorful, I will say that. We're gonna pour it through the strainer. And we're just gonna give it a little shake, get all the water out. And then you can take your little spoon and just mix it in there. And all that should be left in the strainer is all the pulp and then the really big pieces of the spices. My, my meat was still not done, so I'm just gonna let it cook for um, a little while longer. Well, a lot of while longer. But once I'm done straining this, you guys, I'm just gonna let it go for a little bit more and I will tune back in with you all, okay? I'll let y'all know when I actually start assembling the tacos and grating the cheese and cutting all this stuff up. Okay guys, whenever you're done straining it, it should look like this, all the spices and the chile like the skin and stuff is what's left in there. And then of course I just threw the rest of the chile juice on here to help it strain a little more. And then hopefully it'll just add a little bit more flavor. Ow, my toe. <laughs> well, how's that one? That's it? It's still to go. Oh. <laughs> Overall, it was a success. Yeah, that's what I just said. It was a success. Um, don't mind my pan. I put it in the dishwasher when it had grease on. No, I'm lying. I left it in the oven when I had the oven on. So that's why it looks like that. It's not burnt. But I would make this again next time. I just need to buy a piece of meat with a little bit more fat on it. So the broth can grab onto the tortilla. But I'm excited. I'm going to eat. And I'm going to end this vlog today. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I will catch you all in tomorrow's.